Life is not easy at all. There's going to be challenges. You're going to get beat down. That's the way life is. When I'm broken, I relish it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use it. Because if I'm broken, then I just found my limitations. And until I know what my limitations are, how can I push them? How can I get better? If you break, it means it's time to fortify your will to make it stronger. So if you break, fight isn't over. In fact, if you break, the fight is just beginning. And as you crawl up and out of that dismal and wretched place, covered and you're covered in blood and sweat and dirt and filth as you rise above what you were and as you take the form of of who you are supposed to be you will see that in the very act of standing up in the very act of fighting on you will become and you will remain unbroken there's always people out there who are doing far better than you on pretty much anything you want to imagine. And if all you're doing is seeing yourself in their reflected light, let's say, then it's going to be pretty damn dismal. But it's not a good comparison because, well, first of all, there's danger in just comparing yourself to others, period, because they're not you. And God only knows what struggles they had to undertake to get to where they were or what burdens they're currently carrying that you're not aware of. But you can certainly contrast yourself with yourself. And that's a lot better. I don't care how good you are, I don't care how talented you are, I don't care how much you work on yourself, there are some times when things aren't going to go right. There are times when anything that can happen will happen. Do you realize that every day you thought you wasn't going to make it? Do you remember them days where you thought it was absolutely unbearable and you thought you wasn't going to endure that one? Do you know that your survival rate for every last one of them bad days is 100%? You, your track record for surviving bad days is 100%. You survived every hater. You survived all the evictions. You survived the firings. You survived all the tell you no, we ain't hiring. You survived all the trouble you ever been in. Your survival rate is 100%. May 26, 2003, Aaron Ralston was hiking. A boulder fell on his right hand. He waited four days. Then he amputated his own arm with a pocket knife. A woman who was bungee jumping in Zimbabwe, the cord broke. She then fell into a river and had to swim back to land in crocodile infested waters with a broken collarbone. The most amazing part of these stories is when asked about the experience, they all smiled, shrugged and said, I guess things could have been worse. When your day is a museum of disappointments hanging from events that were outside of your control. When you find yourself flailing in an ocean of why is this happening to me? Remember that you will survive. Remember things could be worse. Remember when the world crumbles around you, you have to look at the wreckage and then build a new one out of all the pieces that are still here. Remember you are still here. The human heart beats approximately 4,000 times per hour and each pulse, each throb, each palpitation is a trophy engraved with the words you are still alive act like it focusing on what is broken will never set you free so as long as your question is why did they and when will they and how will they god said what is that what have i called you to do what has god called me to do what has god given me in this season that can't be taken away what can i control what can i speak what can i activate how can i move it forward my biggest advice to get everybody in the world is like I say, we live in an external world. Everything is, is you gotta see it, touch it, it's, it's, it's external. If you can for the rest of your life, live inside of yourself. Stop listening to people who are calling you fat, gay, transsexual. Everything that is makes no sense. All these insecure people putting their insecurities on you, you gotta flush it out. You gotta just be whoever the hell God or whoever the hell you believe in. If you believe in nothing but yourself, I don't care what it is. You gotta take everything and throw it away. You have to believe in one thing and that is yourself. Right now, for you to find greatness in yourself, you're not gonna find it by looking in a book or by even hearing me. 
I may give you the spark, but you've got to go inside yourself to find it. And that means you gotta be quiet. Shut the fuck up, go in a room, stop talking, search your soul, search your mind, search your abilities, and you'll find it. So you gotta go start your journey. And the journey starts with you finding, why the hell am I here on this planet Earth? Why am I here? And if you don't know that, you will live the rest of your life searching, always asking the question, why? What if? A lot of times I'll be in a tourism at mile run or something like that, and I'm all jacked up. Body's broken, mind's broken, spirit's broken. I start to say, what if I can pull this off? When I first walked into the Navy SEAL recruiter's office, he looked at me and said, there's only been 35 African-Americans in 70 years make it through. You know what I said to myself? What if I can be the 36th? It's the what if I can pull off a miracle. What if I can become someone that no one thinks I can be? And just that, just me talking about that, I have the hair going up on my arms because it makes me just like, what if? Life happens. The unexpected, the uncalled for, the unintentional. We've been damaged emotionally, damaged spiritually. At some point, everything's going to go south on you. Everything's going to go south and you're going to say, this is it. This is how I end. Now you can either accept that or you can get to work. That's all it is. You just begin. You do the math. You solve one problem and you solve the next one. The tests that we face through life are solely dependent on your ability to unlock your true potential. Well, they exist only to witness which direction you choose to take from that point. So when you've hit the pavement, when you've broken down and believe that you can't get back up, remember that tomorrow is another reason for you to push through. It's another reason to take into account that beyond the tears, beyond the ridicule, beyond the pain, you're still here. So whether you're standing or kneeling, you're still existing. It's okay to fall. In this society, we have been told that we have to be perfect all the time. We now live with tremendous expectation to be somebody we are not. That is why you feel broken. Because you are trying to be fixed. In essence, be someone else. You aren't broken, even though you feel you are broken. Many times, we don't realize we can rewrite our story at any time. You're only on chapter one, baby, right? And yes, it's looking pretty grim, but you can erase that and write chapter one again, or you can wait for chapter two and realize that it's gonna get a whole lot better. You see, it's really in the hardest moments you learn the most about yourself. You're pushed to the limits. What are some of the words you are saying, right? Because some people say, my life is a mess. Do you know what that does to your subconscious mind? It makes you live a very messy life. But more so, your daily activities are gonna be really messy. Because you have said that, the word is now born, and that means you have to justify what you've just said through your daily actions. And what you think is broken may just be a temporary state. No, it is because this too shall pass. It's about knowing where you're going, not forgetting where you started. It's about having the courage to fail, not breaking when you're broken, taking everything you've been given and making something better. It's about work before glory. And what's inside of you is doing what they say you can't. It's not about the shoes. It's about what you do in them. It's about being who you were born to be.